With COVID-19 tests becoming harder to get during this second wave of the pandemic, one team of Ontario researchers is looking to other ways to see if the virus is spreading through the community. You see, saliva isn't the only place where you can find COVID-19. It's also in other bodily fluids. And that has a team of researchers looking to sewage water. Wastewater uh, surveillance, as it's called, has really exploded in the last uh, few months with respect to the uh, the current COVID-19 pan pandemic. If you're in need of a COVID-19 test, you might be waiting a while to get swabbed. In the meantime, researchers at the University of Guelph are rolling up their sleeves and looking for the virus in other places. We're talking about poop, like we're examining poop, yeah. right? It's not solid waste, it's, it's, it's actually waste water. Um, so we collect that, we then filter it to concentrate the virus, um, if, if the virus is there. It might sound like a crappy assignment, but digging into fecal matter can help detect the virus up to two weeks before symptoms might appear, and can even identify it if a patient doesn't show symptoms at all. The Center for Disease Control in the U.S. said that 25% of the people on average are probably asymptomatic. That means a whole lot of people don't really realize they are ill and um, could be out there spreading. The team of researchers in collaboration with Laval University are testing wastewater at five residences on the Guelph campus with the same methods used in swab testing approved by the Public Health Agency of Canada. They say it could also be applied in other settings like long-term care homes. And if a spike is detected, mobile testing centres could potentially be deployed or safety measures ramped up. It's the first school in Canada testing wastewater following some universities in the U.S. And while they can detect the concentration of the virus, they can't yet pinpoint just how many people it's affecting in a building of hundreds. And the team is still working out when exactly is the best time to collect samples and how often. The problem is that if you sample only for a very short period of time, you might miss the millions or billions of viruses that come out of an infected person because that was not the right time from which they used the toilet. Wastewater surveillance has been used to monitor hepatitis, norovirus and polio in the past. And researchers say in the future they'd like to see municipalities get into the practice of regularly testing sewage. That could help them detect newly emerging diseases long before people show up in hospital with mystery symptoms. There's general consensus that this will not be the last coronavirus that we see. We've seen three of them now that have caused a lot of illnesses and deaths in the past 18 years. And if we see large numbers, then that could indicate that a new disease is, is occurring. And this would then provide an early warning for public health officials to take appropriate steps to try to control that disease. Now, the researchers tell me that wastewater is considered an environmental sample. So there aren't any privacy concerns since it can't be traced back to a single person or even an exact address. Now, this research has been going on for three weeks. They're testing twice a day, twice a week, and they're now moving into a new phase using a different collection method. Janelle Amas, City News.